Are you serious? Are you serious? I need your prayers, guys, out there. Uh, Sierra Leone is in an absolute disaster. Uh, we reported on this yesterday, but I have to come back with an update. It's way worse than any of us can comprehend. Now, there's been two, the hunt for survivors from this massive landslide, mudslide, uh, is devastating mudslide outside of Sierra Leone's capital of Freetown. Matter of fact, 270 bodies have been drugged into the morgue so far. Uh, according to the mayor, a mass burial will be held later today to free up space in the city's morgue because of the overwhelming amount of bodies anticipated to be brought in. A national emergency has been called after the city suffered heavy flooding, thought to be the worst in Africa in the last 20 years. And the country's interior minister warned that thousands, I repeat, thousands of people are missing, buried in the mudslide, landslide. Them half the mountain caved, and then the flood waters flash flooding of mud roaring through the streets, overwhelming the homes, crushing and drowning the people, burying the people. It's an unbelievable scene. It's a post-apocalyptic scene. It's a, a, a disaster of a biblical proportion, and the cataclysmic event that has happened there is so devastating that uh, thousands of people are missing and fear dead. At least a hundred houses initially were hit when the hillside in Regent, a mountainous town 15 miles east of Freetown, collapsed in the early hours yesterday morning. Some of the buildings are just completely submerged. The Red Cross, representative of 4A Marsh, said Monday night that scores of bodies had been recovered, but that there's no way to even identify them. The central hospital's completely overwhelmed, so we're begun sending them to other hospitals as well. The other big problem is that many people have been left homeless. They need shelter, clothing, blankets, food, water. We're trying to do what we can. We'll see how things continue to play out over the day, but listen, this is a disaster of biblical proportion. And you know, the monsoon rains and uh, all the events taking place right now up in Nepal and India and Bangladesh, the death toll up there is now at 221. Uh, and, and that will climb as well, but nothing compared to Sierra Leone. 270 bodies have been recovered. Thousands of people are missing and fear dead, buried in the mudslide, the landslide, the apocalyptic situation. Now, I've, uh, for now, we're just, it's all about collecting the dead, digging them out, finding the bodies, dealing with the situation. President Ernest Bal Cormora has called a national emergency in response to this disaster. This tragedy of great magnitude has once again challenged us to come together, to stand by each other, to help one another. Remember, this is the same area, the same country, and the same area that was the epicenter, really, of the horrific Ebola outbreak in 2013 and 14 that killed over 4,000 people in that area out of the 11,000 that died in all of Africa. So this is a plagued area. This is an area that's received unbelievable, disastrous curse upon the land. And uh, our, our prayers are going out to these folks with everything we got. And uh, the president said, let me assure you that my government is fully engaged on this situation and in collaboration with our development partners. We have already established an emergency center at Regent to coordinate our response and to provide relief to the survivors. It is just over a year since the country was declared free from Ebola following an epidemic that claimed 4,000 lives. The Red Cross and the government are moving the bodies to a holding center at a hospital in Freetown. We're searching. We're carrying, they're being, searches are being carried out by the residents, by emergency workers, by the military. 
and Alex Carl, the director of the international programs at the British Red Cross, said the death toll is likely to rise, uh, adding the spread of disease such as cholera, typhoid fever. Uh, uh, following this flood is a huge concern. More than 60 volunteers from Sierra Leone Red Cross are supporting the government with search and rescue operations, which are still underway and are helping to transport the injured to the hospital and to bring those who have died to the morgues. And among the hundreds of people who have lost relatives and their homes in the mudslide, both their the son and nephews are missing. The woman said, everything is gone. We've lost everything. Our house, everything. The mud came down with the water so fast, my son did not escape. We found him lying in the mud. He was just a boy. They took his body with the others, and I don't even know where they took his body. God help Sierra Leone. Why are we cursed? What are we supposed to do now with nothing? Folks, this is the abs. I, when I said it's a curse that's come upon the land, it truly is. And even the residents realize it. You couldn't go through two years of Ebola, the plague, the, the, the fear, the tragedy, the 4,000 deaths. And now this on top of that. And the question that this mother asked was, why are we cursed? Well, there's a reason and we can find it. But right now it's more important. It would be to help the people there. And so pray, would you please pray? Uh, authorities are on the scene. Uh, you're gonna have the Red, both the British Red Cross, the American Red Cross, and other organizations will be involved in this, but uh, digging out the, the bodies and the, and the whole situation. But boy, I tell you, Sierra Leone, really pray for these folks. Really, really pray. And there's some good people there, okay? We're, so we're not talking about the people. I mean, you're, you're dealing with something that's uh, uh, it's so sad and, and so tragic and, and so, so heartbreaking. But these are the last days. These are the days of great chaos upon the world. These are the days that Jesus said, the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning, folks. This is just the beginning. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. There's a scripture for you in the Bible. Pray that you be worthy to escape the hour of temptation that's coming upon the world. Are you saved?